I'm Jordan Belfort, and this is Sales School. All right, here's the deal as America gets back to work. You want and need every possible advantage out there to succeed in the new economy. Smart companies run on NetSuite by Oracle, the world's number one cloud-based business system. So receive your free guide right now at netsuite.com slash school. Now, every sale's the same, right? Well, why? Because we take control. We make it the same. We take immediate control of the sale and you have four seconds to do it. That's it. You are being judged in those first four seconds. Your prospect lays eyes on you. They see you, they rip you apart, they put you back together, they've judged each piece and based on that, they say to themselves, either this person is number one, sharp as a tack, they're sharp on the ball. Number two, they're enthusiastic. What they have must be good. They seem enthusiastic about it. And number three, most important of all, an expert in your field. Let me repeat that one more time here. Those are called the three things that must line up in the first four seconds. You got four sex. Number one, you must be perceived as being sharp as a tack. You're sharp, you're on the ball, you're a born problem solver. Number two, you're enthusiastic as hell. Enthusiastic as hell, meaning what you have must be good. Now I'm not talking about that bullshit over the top. Oh my God, my thing is that's, that's over the top nonsense enthusiasm. It's not what I mean. I'm talking about something called bottled enthusiasm. It could be a whisper. It's beneath the surface, but it's palpable, it's strong. And lastly, and most important of all, you are an expert in your field. Sharp as attack, enthusiastic, have an expert in your field, meaning that you are someone that knows their shit. You are an expert, and what do we do when we're in the position or in the presence of experts? What do we do? We defer. We've been trained since way, yay big, to defer to experts. When we were very young, our parents took us to the doctor when we were sick, right? And even our own parents would defer. We we're like, wow, this is a very special guy. He's been to school. The doctor would ask us questions. We'd answer. We don't interrupt them. When we are in presence of experts, we defer. You must be perceived as sharp as a tack enthusiastic as hell, an expert in your field. I'm gonna take a sip here. Expert in your field. If you're not perceived this way, what happens? The prospect tries to take control. When we believe that we're dealing with a novice, someone who's dull, not enthusiastic, we will take control. And what I realized that first night I invented the straight line back in 1988, believe it or not, this is what I realized. I had a certain way of talking, a certain way of acting that commanded authority. People knew they were in the presence of an expert. And because of that, they would defer to me. I was able to take control of the conversation. And once I had control, I could then make every sale. Listen, I could follow a certain roadmap to closing everyone using the same technique. If the prospect is in control, how could you do that? You can't use any technique because you're, you're, you don't know what's coming next. The first step in what's called the straight line syntax is you must take immediate control of the sale. You must take control because what's really happening in the mind of the prospect, and it happens in those first four seconds, they say, this is a person worth listening to. That's what this chunks up and say, you know what? He's sharp, enthusiastic, she's sharp, enthusiastic, expert. They are worth listening to because he or she can help me achieve my goals. They can help me get what I want. That's why people listen to you. We seek out experts to solve our problems, eliminate our pain. You must be perceived this way. 
when you are what happens they defer so watch number one you got four seconds you sound you must sound this way this something you must be perceived the prospect says wow this person's an expert in their field they're sharp wow I'm gonna defer they probably can help me get what I want they're experts I've been taught that it's respectful to defer to an expert so now that gives you the opportunity to take control you then take control and you use that to start asking questions and you ask those questions in a very specific way using certain tonalities and you start building massive rapport that way